good, eh? So, where are we, Greg? Hinkley. Okay. Hinkley in Leicestershire. So, I met up with uh, Greg from Sprinter Van Travels, is it? Yeah. On Instagram, so we've stayed here the night and uh, literally today we are fitting uh, a diesel heater uh, into the back of the van. So this is a backup to, because I've already got the LPG uh, whale heating system. And again, I'm learning from my experiences when I was in Scotland uh, in the last lockdown over Christmas and that, that it's good to have a backup of everything. So we're fitting a, a diesel heater. So at winter time, I could then just cook on LPG and run the diesel heater from there. So that's what our plan is today. So we've been making a few modifications. Uh, we've fitted the diesel turret, heater turret into the van. So that's all secure. And obviously you'll see through the rest of the video as we go along with the fitting. So fingers crossed before I fall over. Um, all going well so far. And I can't thank Greg enough for helping me do this today. So stay tuned. So what have you, well not me, what have you done so far Greg? We mounted the exhaust, got the fuel line coming down, I need to cut it so that I can fit the fuel pump. Um, yeah, we're nearly there, it's just the wiring loom next. Sweet. Connect to the battery, fill the tank with diesel, or 
a bit of diesel and uh, yeah, Bobby Uncle. prime it and then hopefully she'll fire. You're a legend, thank you so much. No worries, mate. Those work. So we've literally now just uh, carried on from yesterday, uh, fitted the ducting pipe. We just had to go up out and buy some in Nuneaton. So we just connected the ducting pipe to the one uh, air point uh, that goes into the, into the uh, living quarters of the van. And then this second little bit that we just crushed here, that will just be under the garage to heat up. So hopefully, fingers crossed, that is all good. So we set the heating control now, so the time's been set, it's been changed to uh, Celsius and all that sort of stuff on the control panel. That was just a YouTube video we found online and that is now everything kicked in. So let's see if it fires up. And that's where we put the uh, little vent coming in. Glory. Angle that wherever we want the heat to come out from, so fingers crossed, we we'll get some more heat now. That is nice and toasty. Yeah. Fuck me. Sorry for swearing, but the skin on my hands just come off. Woohoo! So there you go, ladies and gents, thanks to Greg uh, for helping, well, for doing most of the work. But we have a diesel heater as a backup to our LPG heating system as well, like I said before. But that's all working fine. And like I said, the best part about it is that little pot that sticks at the top there will heat underneath the bed, keep the damp off, keep the batteries squared, everything. So thank you very much. No worries, my pleasure. And we also fitted a water fill point uh, which goes into the 70 litre Fiamma tank now, which is perfect. So today we've bought these uh, daytime running lights, two little spot lights that fit down the front of the bumper here. So we have literally just dropped the under uh, the the underskirt and all that sort of stuff and we're just going to try and gain access now by drilling out uh, the point to it there so where the uh, daytime running lights go so we're just going to drill that out with a 76mm drill bit and then go for it It's a big hole there now. <laughs> it means air can get to the engine. That's it. <laughs> Better call in. You've been waiting to see what this looks like in here, haven't you? Yeah. Perfect. So, look at that. That's going to look set, isn't it? Woohoo! So the whole kit comes from eBay, and I'll put a link in the video uh, to where I got them from. But it comes complete with a wiring loom, everything that you need, the two lights, so pretty easy, I guess. Do 
hold it. So with the wiring loom, we've earthed it as per the instructions uh, just underneath the, the module for the uh, off-road lights or the daytime running lights, should I say. And then all we've done from there, following the instructions, is found the black, green with black stripe cable and then crimped the white cable onto that which means the headlights should be on or when they come on it dims the daytime run lights and when the headlights go off the daytime run lights stay on and then all we've got to do is put the fuse into the fuse box down here and then wire in the red horn so inside here now we've wired up the uh, live I take it yeah, live, yeah. So that's all wired in. We just got to reconnect the headlamp now into there and run these two wiring looms down to the daytime running lights. Put the there and then see if it works. We shall see. Yeah, yeah. So they dim when the main headlights are on, yeah. And when the main headlights come off, the daytime running lights get brighter. All good, all working. Yep. Yeah. So the last job of today, uh, of this weekend's like work on the van to get it ready for Europe is I'm just putting on a like a piece of leather with some orange uh, cord, Sorry. string, all that sort of stuff and uh, just attaching it to the steering wheel. So you can see, so just like a fake leather cover and I've stitched it on with orange so far I've just got these bottom bits to do so I'm going to crack on with that and then a bit more orange and we'll be done so that's the leather steering wheel attached uh, not the greatest stitching I'll never make a seamstress but it's orange so quartz and meeks we're going orange more and more coming for you so that is now a leather steering wheel happy days so that is the end of this weekend uh, thanks to Greg who's been a massive <laughs> help for everything that uh, has, he's done this weekend so I can't <coughs> thank him enough I'm choking to death uh, so thank you to Greg and um that's it for this weekend, we're off now to go and get some more work done on the van, build a cabinet above the bed. And the last things we've got to get done is the Max air fan and the water heater. So we'll see you soon. Bye.